my loves so for this tutorial I wanted to do kind of a sexy girly skeleton tutorial as opposed to all of the scary ones I usually see here on YouTube so I am using this white face paint and applying it to my face with a dampened beauty blender I got this white face paint at Target it was super cheap it was only a dollar but it was pretty crappy I really would not suggest it it took me quite a while to really work it up now I'm going ahead and bring it down onto my neck just so I don't have a white face and really tan neck because that would look weird. Now I'm going to go ahead and set all of that white face paint with this translucent powder from Revlon. I am doing this a little more heavy handed than usual just because it's paint obviously so I want to make sure that it's set and not going to move around my face. Now I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Fine Line Liquid Liner and this is obviously in black and I'm going to go ahead and make the outline of how I want the eyes to be. I know I wanted a really dramatic cat eye so I'm going ahead and just kind of outlining it within my crease and then bring out the wing really really far and connecting it. Then I'm going in with this Mark My Eyes Eye Liner and this is kind of really thick like almost like a sharpie would be so it's very easy to just fill in so I'm just filling in that outline that I created. Then using the matte black color from the Naked Basics palette, I'm going to go ahead and do a smoky line underneath my eye. You can use any matte black to do this, anything will do. Now taking that same matte black color, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm making them very, very intense, obviously way more defined than they actually are in real life, but I wanted them to be really, really arched and high and kind of look a little bit scary. So now my eyes are pretty much done, but I decided to apply some false lashes. The ones I'm using are really old. I literally don't even know. They're just like a no-name brand. I got them at Walmart a while ago. Now I'm using my Milani Liquid Eyeliner to go ahead and line my waterline just to make everything really, really black. Now I am going in with my Fluff E1 brush from Mojo Beauty to contour, again using the same matte black eyeshadow. So I am contouring where I would normally contour with bronzer, just kind of on the hollows of my cheekbones to bring that place in and emphasize my cheekbone. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose again using the same eyeshadow and I'm bringing it up right beneath my brows. I normally would not bring it up this high but again just trying to emphasize that part of my face. And now I'm sorry I'm going a little bit out of frame but I'm going to go ahead and bring that contour down with whatever is left on my blush around my chin area and then I'm going to go ahead and go underneath my eyes. Again I didn't use any more eyeshadow to do this just whatever was left on my brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my forehead and contour the entire uh, like semicircle around the top of my forehead. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in that contour I made around my nose. Originally I was not going to do this but I thought that it would look a little bit more like a skeleton if I went ahead and did this. So I did and I liked the way it ended up turning out so just filling that in and then now again going underneath my eyes one more time just to kind of give that like gleam sunken in look. Then using a black eyeliner pencil I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. I'm also going to go ahead and bring my lip line out to the sides of my lips as well and now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips partially with this eyeliner as well. Then for gloss I'm using my Whitening Lightning Lip Gloss in Borneo and going ahead and applying that to my lips. And then last but not least, I decided to make a mole on my face just to kind of give that classic girly look to this look. 
So yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. It was way out of my comfort zone. I really hate scary things, which is why I tried to put kind of a feminine twist on the classic skeleton for Halloween. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!